so anyway, you guys have a clothing line, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Um, I, how, what got you? Well, I mean, anyone who can start a clothing line definitely should. But uh, where, where did that where did that start off at? Well, it started with just wanting to have band tees. To be honest, we yeah, just wanted yeah, to have a band, and then you know? it went. It got bigger than that, and then it became its own identity and its own own thing. It started making way more than the music was making. <laughs> so at that point, it was just <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's follow follow that trail, and and if people want it, then let's keep giving it. It's like this: we we made the first lump run, and it sold out in what was it three days. We sold out like I, shit, I don't know how many we did like maybe a hundred garments sold out in three days, way quicker than we thought it was going on our first release. We were it's like, not we're a gonna lot, have but some like for fuck. the shows, and then we didn't even get any for the show. Yeah. Like you know, it was like we had to so make then, another uh, order for the show. You know, we crazy. did another order, and then that sold out in a week. And then we did exclusive run of our our uh, Newport Late Street series, and that was a really cool pack series we did. Um, and so we did 50 of those and that sold out in about 24 hours. And I'm so to go find it just so I'm going to show you the shirt. It was, it's really just, we, we seen it making its own way. Like he said, and, and actually this year, our goal is to kind of rehub Deuce Block as its own entity. Like I said, it started with just late street gear. Um, now that we got the domain and we're going to give new hubs and everything, that was the late street exclusive pack series right there. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it really just kind of took a took the the wheel of its own, and we decided to keep molding it and going with it. Um, we're we're both passionate about creating. We were graffiti artists growing up, and so any kind of art and design that we can get into is right up our alley either way. And and I mean, to be honest with you, in today's era of music and the way that the industry works and how marketing works, we kind of took on the um, the mindset that it's like this music is pretty much just a commercial for your brand. Right. You know, mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day, the music's not going to make you a ton of money. Streams aren't doing shit for revenue, you know. And so that being the case, when it's all such small change, I mean, we just kind of switched the gears and said, well, this music's pretty much a commercial now for for this clothing line that we have, you know, and, and, and in a broad way of speaking. No, definitely. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much the origin of that. And it's it's still in its growing stages, to be honest with you. Uh, we, yeah. we hope to see it do a, uh, even more by the end of this year. Yeah, and hopefully uh, you fucking triple those numbers. You we'll know? see where it That'd goes. Yeah. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I tell all artists that I said merchandise has been uh, been where most of my revenue has come through. And it's it saved me on some pretty rough uh, road trips and tours, you know. Oh, if you're not going to shows and selling merch, I mean, you're kind of fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. You know. I mean, there's just so much potential, you know, there's so much potential traffic and, and it's, it's kind of cool. I'm sure this has happened to you guys, um, where you end up selling merch before you even go on by someone that's probably never even heard or seen you before. Oh, oh absolutely. The that's like, the the, that's the power of the brand, the logo, like just a yeah. good t-shirt design. Like they probably even know that you're even performing. They feel like this is just a, well, it's like just a dope clothing you know, line. And flea market, yeah. like a flea market table just happens to be at a venue. So yeah. right. And it's like even down to how we do set up our display. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a street sign that it says matters, Deuce yeah. Block on Late Street. It's an actual mm -hmm. street sign, you know. Uh nice. we make we make it look fucking as official as we possibly can. And and they see it and they're like, Wow. And it's, that's yeah. by the end of the time, once they see us play, then they come back and they're like, What the fuck? Let, let, let me get a hat now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, and would you sign you know, this? You know, you know. But no, and, and the cool thing is too is how you market it, knowing that it's based in, in fueled off music uh, in a heavy sense is putting you know our logo on the back of everything is so important because I'll tell you what when we're when we're at a show you know and we we got all our people there and everyone who rides on Late Street with us to be at the back of the venue and see everybody at the front of the stage but you just see this ocean of Late Street logos in the like, back. Oh man. I'll tell you what, as just yeah. an artist, and like, let me just be, you know, whatever about it. Like, that shit's a good feeling when you're like, these people are here to see you and vibe you, vibe with uh -huh. you right now, and just yeah, like that's they're all here right. It's powerful, you know what I mean? That's powerful. Yeah, Definitely. absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, we'll 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 jump into uh, just some like tips, tips and trades, like advice. Yeah. Uh, I like to throw in the podcast whenever we can. So for any uh, young and up and coming, don't always have to be young, but up and coming artists who uh, need a little advice on kind of maybe on the business tip or at least on the marketing tip or just anything, anything past the music, like the music's right. made, you know, right. what, what do they do it? next? Uh, how, let's talk about, network. yeah, I was actually going to say that. Yeah, just uh, your network. How do you, how do you advise like networking? 
just just your personal opinion like what's worked for you guys so with with me it's either like i've either reached out to somebody personally um and made contact with them being like you know i just i vibe what you're doing i think uh-huh. you're fucking really working hard and i appreciate everything you got going on for your scene let's just make the equation yeah make an acquaintance and then grow that connection even further and further also when i'm playing shows with these people you know I'm a very genuine motherfucker, so mm-hmm. I will literally come up and just, you know, we'll fucking, by the end of the night, we'll be drinking, having a great time. Mm-hmm. And, so just uh, keeping it, keeping everything organic as far as uh, trying, like if you're going to go and reach out to somebody like you're saying, you should, but make sure it's organic. Don't come at them like, you know, you just want something from them. Right. You got to yeah. make sure everything's organic. And, and, you know, if you're just trying to get something, maybe you just hold back and get your own eggs in a basket first. But mm-hmm. and, and going off the shows, I mean, beyond the shows that we play, just going to shows to support, being there at these shows that are happening at your local venues and just showing face and, and you know, shaking those hands and meeting those people. Very, very yeah, important. And that, yeah, at the shows, just meeting all the people you can at the shows, whether they're, like you said, whether they're playing or not, whether you're playing or not, mm-hmm. just going out and meeting these people and, and you know exposing them to your brand and who you are and what you're about and then you know giving them your music and showing them that and taking them to your links or your websites and everything like that uh that you know the word of mouth in my opinion is one of the best things you can do it's social the media strongest tool. Yeah, you know it's social strongest. media is is a key thing we use it every single day but you know still it's like to have my homies even today hit us up on the on the podcast tonight you know it's like yeah. word of mouth is that thing and the brand the brand speaks for itself 